I'm Dr. Andrea, and today I'm going to talk about self-adjusting and why you shouldn't do it at home. But before I dive into that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the spine and the joint complexes within the spine. So, here's your spine. Each individual vertebra is supposed to move a little bit with the one above and below it. So, when you go into your chiropractor, usually for a segmental dysfunction, AKA subluxation, AKA why you're most likely in pain and going to the chiropractor, your chiropractor will assess your spine and determine which portion of your spine isn't moving. And that's usually the problem. What happens when you self-adjust at home is you're not able to assess your own spine how a chiropractor can. So what happens more often than not is you end up cavitating or adjusting the section of the spine that's moving too much. Keep in mind for every section of the spine that's not moving enough, you have the section above or below that's moving too much to try to compensate for that lack of motion. So when your chiropractor adjusts you, they put a specific therapeutic line of drive through those joints or those vertebra that aren't moving correctly. Versus when people adjust at home, they're not able to be that objective and they end up adjusting and putting more motion into the portion that's already moving too much and usually making the issue worse. 